How do I get to the chest? Okay, that. What? So apparently, yeah. <laughs> I took a little bit of, of a break because my laptop was le uh, empty, anyways. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Apparently, you just have to do that. It's actually quite easy, and um, I'm just an idiot, so. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that was close because I went over here because I thought like maybe you can go from here around it or something like it's a secret but nope this must be the way forward but to where we will find out we will Revelio. let's see if there's anything uh -huh. very interesting indeed Oopsies! <laughs> Give me a second. Ah! Uh... Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of course. I guess I could jump, but stop making that sound. Why is it doing that all the time? I'm just floating into the void. One second. I got this, we got this. I played the Legend of Zelda, I can figure this out. Not like Rebellion. this though. This also disappears when I do this. Am I am I just stupid? I mean I haven't played video games in such a long time, so maybe I'm just dumb. Oh wait a second. Oh. I get it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oops. All right. Oh, it wasn't worth it at all. Ta-da! I did it. And it only took me far too long. My gear slots are full? Ah! Please, no. Destroy some. Okay. Oh god. Good job, me. You suck. Sorry, I just got confused again. Let me also. Akio. Oh God! Suck! No, why do you keep on doing that? Ah! what I want to do. Uh, okay, that was <laughs> quite lucky. Right there. Oh well. 
Let me also do stuff like this. Akio. Oh. I'm almost dead. Revelio. Anything of interest here? I I don't think so. I'll just continue. Look, I get confused with it the buttons. Is a book after all. It's a, it's a looky into the memories thing again, <laughs> down there. Ooh. Very fancy. Sniff it. Breathe it in. <laughs> well, what's this? I mean, I knew magic was powerful, but not that powerful. What the hell? Okay. So this ancient magic can, can it can do a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Can it control the weather? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. Uh, I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation. She also started fifth, fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. Okay, so she is the little kid I was... And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. Don't understand what are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Okay. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the long hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. What house is she? <laughs> her smile was a bit, I don't know. 
Maybe I'm just imagining things, but I have a bad feeling. Sebastian. Did you die? Did you let Baron kill you? Oh, there's Paige. Sneaking <gasps> in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that oh you God. didn't come alone tonight. Can we do something? If someone has coerced them? you, I would have you tell me. Why would you listen to Peeves? He's You're a troublemaker. A boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Damn. Oh, Are you sure not a Hufflepuff? <laughs> what will your uncle say? I really hope he's not getting into too much trouble. Oh, and now we can just walk around like it's nobody's business. Okay, sure. Incendio. At short. Yeah, I know. Why are you telling me that? Rebellion. Our Grey Skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or Our Grey, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Cute. All of a sudden, people are gathering because at first it was empty and now everyone's around. It's morning starting or something. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. Yeah, the time changed because at first when we got here, it was like, wait, and now it's he's here. So you that means to speak it with became me. morning. I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. We I haven't met a Gryffindor. No, yes, we have. Wait, she's a Gryffindor. Dragons. I was like, um, well, thank you. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine. Unfortunately, took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Mm, they can be scary. What's to be scared of? I'm afraid your own shadow too. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me puff scheme dunkeen. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I it's do a bit not funny. have to admit that. <laughs> okay, sure. Everett said the same thing. Sorry, man. Anyway, it's kind of funny. To make matters yeah, worse, I'm sorry. I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. Uh -huh. The hidden herbology corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. Uh -huh. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Of course. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor no. Garlic grows? No, honestly. I think we weren't even in a greenhouse before. Like I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Okay. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Yeah, you shall be. Quest started. Hmm. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. Should I run all the way? We can run all the way. What was that sound? Ah, what is this? Well, my God, my gears lots of fall. 
I'm mad. Where could the key flyer be flying around? Rebellion. Ich, I, I hear something. I want to say, ich höre was. <laughs> I can hear it. There it is. All right, good for me. Uh, I will go to Hogsmeade for a quick selling thing and be by right back. Revelio. The Magic Neep card. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Oh. I thought this dude had his hands straight up into the air and I was like, what is he doing? Do they incendium? Oh, it really does. Thought like maybe it wouldn't do that, <laughs> but I'm assuming they burn it tonight. But it's cool that you can also turn them on. I'm a bit overwhelmed with the outside. This is so much. It's so big. That that's still Hogwarts is astounding. No, can't do that. Oh, but I Rebellion. can do that. Glum bubble. Glum bumblies. Glum bumblies are magical flying insects that produce a tri trickle which will cause melancholy if consumed. They feed on nettles and nest in dark and secluded places. Unfortunately, they are known to infest beehives, having a devastating effect on the honey therein. Hmm, hmm, interesting. I said, be not interested in it at all. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio. I think you're talking about death. Okay. But what is this? Can I use repair on it? Repair. On. No. Why not? What is this? It's so suspicious. It even does this. Nah. I don't know. Incendio. Let's enter. Proof for Duncan. Oh, really? Good job, me. I would have never guessed me. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Rebellion. The devil snare. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would hurt us. Incendium. Okay. I need Lumos. Um, how's the rhyme going? I don't only know the German one. That was the wrong spell. I'm sorry. I was just thinking. Lumos. Yep. Okay. Sie tötet voll Wonne, doch schmort in der Sonne. Yeah, that's it. That's the German one. Okay, it seems to be over there, so we're going up to the left first. Seeing what's here. Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. There we go. Rebellion. 
You can jump down, I allow it. Lumos. Devil snares no happy. Incendium. Incendium. Ah. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of something. Dude, can you light it? Lumos. Incendium. Revelio. Strange. What was that here? Seems like it seems like a classroom almost. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Mm hmm. Lumos. Hello. I didn't mean to do that. At least not on purpose. Collect. Nice. Can I kill it? Incendium. No. No. Not with that. Lumos. Well, I think that's all. Rebellion. Alright, that was less adventurous than I thought it would be, but it was nice. <laughs> Whee! Greenhouses. Yeah, we didn't have apology yet. Alright, we are stuck. Okay, now we can go down. Wow, that's just part of a much bigger greenhouse, damn. The greenhouse. How nice to see you, my young friend. Whoa. Can't collect it. Mm, dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitter root to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Tutelage? From tutoring? Okay. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards always, Eleanor Everly. Rebellion. Goes downstairs. Why? <laughs> Why would you? That's a deep pond. I didn't expect it to be so deep. What's going on down here? What the heck is that? Uh, it's an unfriendly chest. Oh, that's that's why it's so deep. It like goes all the way down the roots. Damn, son. There we go. It's quite amazing actually that the loading time from one area to the other is so short because we stood there. We stood there. And you can see the door. You can see it. Um, Levioso. There we go. You can see the loading thing. The little circle, but it only lasts for a few seconds. And that's quite astonishing. Off on another adventure, are we? Could you remind me how the okay, Dalian keys uh, work? I was like not sure. When you spot or hear a flying key, I hope you... 
I don't care. I know. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate yep. you getting it for me. No problem, man. Actually, I might just keep this. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. Mm -hmm. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Sure. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. You too, Duncan. You too. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. Poor bastard. That really took a toll on him, huh? Well, I'm glad I could help.